Hey guys, welcome back to Am Sam Fam. It has been about a year since we did our very first cost of living video for living in American Samoa. And in that video, if you haven't seen it yet, we covered the price of grocery shopping, which we felt was important because when we were moving here, we couldn't find any information on how much it would cost us to live here. We all know 2020 has been a crazy year. A lot of things have changed. It feels like a different world than it was one year ago. And even here on the island where we haven't had any COVID cases, life has still changed. Shipping has changed and food prices have changed. So we thought it was a good idea to come back and show you a new 2021 version of our cost of living for grocery shopping here in American Samoa. So today we're going to go hit a couple of those stores and show you what we've got here and give you a general idea of what kind of prices you can expect to pay here. Now, before we get to our first grocery store and start looking at prices, we wanted to give an extra big shout out and thanks to our patrons. This is something we've just been doing recently and it's been really fun for us. And uh, it's given some of our fans the ability to support us in these videos that we make. We love that and it helps us so much. So if you're interested in also supporting us, please check out the link below to our Patreon page where you can be a patron also and help to support us. Also, check out another link below to Melinda's guidebook to the territory. She spent so much time on it and it has come out beautifully. It's amazing. We're getting great reviews on it. So we're so proud of it. We want you to be able to check it out also. See the link below, look at getting the ebook or physical copy. They're both amazing and then you can be ready to go when you come to American Samoa. Our first stop today is at Costiles. It's one of the more popular grocery stores here on the island and you could compare it to like a Costco on the mainland US. They've got bulk items and so a lot of the times the price is going to be higher than what you'll find in some of the other grocery stores but you're buying in bulk so the average price per unit usually turns out to be pretty comparable. While we might not get all the same restaurant choices that we used to enjoy on the mainland, we still get the freezer section. TJ Fridays! So last year when we were here, if you recall, if you look at the video, there was a lot of empty shelves because we had some shipping problems going on. Those have been mostly resolved, and so if you look around now, pretty well stocked. Not too bad. they come by air they're always very very expensive and if they come by sea then to be able to get out here they have to be picked very very young and so by the time they get here you're, you just don't get that same juicy sweet peach that you might find somewhere else so they are some things that we really just rarely eat here we have alternatives locally grown fruits that we get to enjoy here and so it's just it's just a trade-off here behind me I've talked about tutuili greens before and I'm going to tell you about them again because they have changed the way we are able to eat here on the island so much in our last grocery shopping video they were really producing just lettuce at the time but since then they have branched out now they're producing all kinds of things like wraps 
and salads, sandwiches, bok choy, kale, different herbs. And they've really done such a great job in helping provide the island with convenient and healthy foods. seen this for months. I'm so excited. You can really clearly see what the prices of these products are. You don't see that in all the stores. So there's a lot of question of how much is this? I don't know. But Costiless does a really great job of posting the prices so there's no question what you're going to pay at the register. Do you see this stack of Vienna sausages? I've never really even considered Vienna sausages ever <laughs> before we moved here, but they are a very, very popular snack here in American Samoa. I've been looking for a new scooter. Still haven't found ours yet, but I think I might find the replacement. <laughs> Never mind. <That's> fine. <laughs> All right, next place we're going is KS Mart. Again, we went here last year as well, so there's some nice symmetry here. KS Mart is a little bit like an Albertsons or a Kroger or maybe a Ralph's, kind of like a neighborhood grocery store. Um, not just a corner mart, a little bigger than that, so you can get a lot of fresh produce here canned goods, you can get some fresh meat. It's a great place for, for fairly relatively convenient shopping. So you can stop in on your way home from work and you can pick up your milk and your meat and your eggs and those kinds of things and it's fairly reasonably priced. Let's go in and check it out. and good things like that here at KS Mart. Again, one of the problems is there's not prices on hardly anything. They price some of these individual items, but they, they package themselves, but most of these things have prices on them, so you kind of hope that they're not too expensive and you go buy them at the front and then you see what they are. But we'll show what we can. Not as bad as last time that we did this, but for three tomatoes, like $3.15, so about a dollar per tomato. So, Still pretty expensive to get the stuff they get air freighted in. So they've got actual milk here, like from California, not just boxed shelf stable milk. Uh, I'm not sure how much it is, but I'm guessing it's four, five, six, seven dollars is usually what that costs. So again, this is kind of a little bit more normal for American Samoa. You get this shelf stable boxed milk, which you kind of get used to. It's not as satisfying as good as fresh milk, but uh, it's usually about two bucks a box, typically most places that you can find. One of the best alternatives to grocery stores here are the roadside produce stands. And honestly, you can find them all over the island. This is one of our favorites. <laughs> 
but but they're all great and they all sell pretty similar produce as any of the rest of them. So let's go see what they've got today. <laughs> Time to see you. I know. So this is $7? So seven? Yeah. Okay, what is this? Pumpkin. 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 So eggplant, $1 for yeah. a bag? Yeah. And cucumber, $1 a piece? Yeah, $2 for bag. $2 for the bag of cucumber. You grow all of this uh, at your home? I have six plantations. I live at the school and the store and the restaurant. Wow. Okay. The kids love these green beans. They'll just sit and eat them raw or cooked. So we better get them some. So one dollar for the green beans. So they have some of these prices better labeled than at the grocery store. <laughs> we got a three dollar papaya. For four dollar, that thing is huge. So there are some tomatoes that are grown locally, um, and, but it's mostly these smaller tomatoes, like a cherry tomato size, but a tomato is a tomato, so we're grateful to have them. <laughs> How much for the tomatoes? $3. $3 for the tomatoes. Wow. And we've got some coconuts here and taro. How much for the coconuts? $1 for one. Oh, $1 for a coconut. That's good. And for the taro? $10 for Ten dollars for a bag. It's a lot of taro in that bag, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. She just gave us so much food for five bucks. If you want to eat fresh here, make sure to stop by the roadside stands. And this one here is the one, it's almost right across from KS Mart. Just a little, I guess, west of KS Mart. Definitely one of our favorites. Okay, we are now at Matai Mart. This has become our favorite mart on the island, I think, because the people in there are so nice. It's got a great selection. It's very clean and nice. So we talk about the marts on the island. These are gonna be a little bit more like your, your corner marts. Maybe like your 7-Eleven or your Circle K, something like that. It's gonna be your quick, convenient uh, kind of corner mart that you run to if you need that you know, package of spaghetti or you need a package of flour real fast. You wanna grab a couple of drinks, things like that. They are almost always open quite a bit later than any of the other grocery stores on island. So even if it's later at night and you need something, you're almost always gonna be able to come find uh, something Maybe not the exact thing, but pretty much what you're gonna be looking for at one of these marks. So let's go in and check out what the prices are like here. Anchor brand. This is a brand, in this case it's whipping cream, but it's just a milk brand here. But they've got really good marketing because they, on the radio or there's lots of print ad stuff that talks about Anchor milk, it's the best milk. And it works so well that that is basically the only milk that kids will want to drink. He's always like, can I please some Anchor milk? He doesn't ask for chocolate milk, he asks for Anchor milk specifically.
Well guys, thanks so much for joining us for this video today. We really appreciate you coming along and uh, checking out what some of the prices are like here in 2021 in American Samoa for grocery items. We hope that it's been really helpful for you. If you're here on island and you have more input to add, make sure to add it down in the comments below so that as people see the video and go through the comments that they'll be able to see the information that you are providing as well. And if you haven't been here, hopefully we just keep on keeping our fingers crossed that borders will open soon and that anybody who wants to will be able to come visit. If we missed something in this video that you're interested in, let us know in the comments below also. Again, if, uh, if you're not a subscriber already, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell so that you can be notified of all of our fun adventures and all the videos where we cover things about life in American Samoa. Also, head over to Facebook and Instagram where you can follow us there and you can see more of the day-to-day -day activities and life here in American Samoa. Until next time, tofa soi fua. Tofa soi fua. Also, a lot of the times, it's comparable. What am I trying to say here? <laughs> no, we wanted you to get in on it. We were, no, we've been waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> Wraps and sandwiches. They've got bok choy. Oops. Wait, I shouldn't be like zooming. Yeah. Tofa soy fula.